welcome to Art with Val. Today I'm going to do a um, funnel ripple pour and my inspiration comes from Olga Sobe. I uh, She put together a, a compilation of you know different techniques and uh, I really I thought that this one looked like fun so I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, I am using um, all uh, just craft paints, um, this Hissico brand that uh, I got off Amazon. Um, Thalo Blue, Sky Blue, Violet, and Fuchsia. Um, but today, for the first time, um, I have put three drops of silicone um, in all my paints except for uh, my white and black and those are both Montmartre. Um, so ah, let's go see what happens, huh? Um, so we'll get some of this black on there. Oops. See what happens. It should be fun. All right. It should be level and ready to go. Huh? So. I love Thalo, Thalo Blue. Excuse me. Said it wrong. Um. I tend to use blues a lot. <laughs> Blue and purple. I'm going to have to venture out one of these days, huh? Let's get a little white in there. more of each one and then we will see what happens I had never seen this particular technique before so a little bit more of that all right what do you think are we ready let's see if I can do this huh oh my goodness pretty Very pretty. All right. Let's get um, an edge on here. And then we'll give it a torch. big cells. Never used silicone before. But I did want to tell you um, what made me want to try it because I've heard so many people, you know, don't use silicone, don't use silicone. Um, and the only reason that I know of for that is that it is such a hassle to make sure that you have it off of your canvas um, before you resin. And so if there's another reason, someone, you know, please let me know. Um, 
but uh, Julie with pouring your heart out I saw her just um, uh, she wipes her canvas with um, like facial wipes and then just Varnishes it or resins, what you know, whatever she's. I believe it was what she used varnish, um, and uh, from maybe it was the Liquitex. Sorry, I don't remember. But um, I thought, well, if that's all I have to do, I need to check this out because it would be fun to um, use some silicone and. Uh, Some nice big cells like I'm seeing here and um, just have fun with it so anyway if anyone knows of any other reasons I'm not aware of or things that I should watch out for I would love to hear uh, the ins and outs of using silicone um, I hadn't really found anyone that talked about it in depth, so, yeah, let me know on that. Um, Alright, I think, let's give this a torch. got it on the spinner because um, I tend to overstretch you know, if I get natural um, cells and I lose them a lot of the time and I thought well maybe this is would be the trick you know I'm going to put just a little more black on there. I want to make sure that um, my paint is not having a problem moving. Looks like it's going to be fine, but all right, let's give it a spin. I always start out slow. <laughs> okay, I want to stop that because... I want to move it down a bit. Don't want to lose all the fuchsia. So we'll be very careful here. Go this way just a little bit. All right, now hopefully my tape sticks there. I don't want this thing flying off, huh? Oh, it didn't. My goodness. Well, I can't have that because I ruined pieces that way. So I'll have to be gentle. Darn it. Need my tape, huh? We're close. Just a bit more. I've got one stubborn corner. 
Maybe I can just help that out a little bit, huh? Just a little bit there. Come on. Come on. 